Congratulations, you've just been crowned as the Peter Bedford Trophy winner for 2022. That must sit pretty special with you. Yeah, I didn't really expect it, to be honest. Um, I was kind of shaking up there a little bit when I was saying thank you. But, um, yeah, obviously it's a mass massive honour to um, receive it. And, um, yeah, it's a bit of recognition for a year. But as I said up there, it's just about playing your role and just getting, getting it done. And if that's what comes with that, then that's what it is. But, yeah, it's obviously pretty special. How do you reflect on the season in knowing that you're so well respected by your coaching staff and the playing group as well? Yeah, obviously that's what's most important at the end of the day is your, is your coaches and players and then what they, how they think you go week in, week out. If that's, and the messages they were giving me throughout the year was to keep doing what I was doing. So, um, yeah, as you said, it's pretty special. Uh, a lot of people have been a massive influence on your career so far, as you said on stage. I guess um, it makes you really proud to know that you've got a really nice support network. Yeah, I've got had, always have um, had a really nice support network and a lot of people around me um, from all the coaching um, staff that I've coached un been coached under at the Swans um, to, my, to my family. They've always been a massive support to me. Um, as I said up there, the, I, I didn't miss a game this year, no matter whether it was in Perth or Tassie or up the Gabba or wherever. So they've been massive for me and um, I'm hopefully they'll continue to be big for me. How much do you enjoy playing with this uh, playing group that is seem, or see, seemingly so special? Yeah, I mean, it's been touched on a lot tonight and since the granny loss, um, but of how good a spot this list is in. Um, I think a third of the list was under 22 on the weekend, um, and which that holds us in good stead. Um, the experience will hopefully um, ensure that we're there for years to come, and I think to have me and Chad up there tonight is a good um, indication of where this uh, list is headed. How excited are you for the future? Yeah, um, I think it's still a bit raw um, from the weekend, still hasn't turned to excitement just yet. But, um, I mean, it's we touched on it the other day as a group, just of where we where we think we can head. And um, if we rally together, we could use this as a real benefit and um, hopefully end up going one better in a couple of years to come.